The June 27th lava flow could creep up the Ka'ohe homestead's boundary today. It's less than 200 yards away from homes on the Big Island. Luckily, there are no homes in that area, only vacant land. A country cruiser trying to prevent residents from being cut off by creating roads. Parts of the rail, road avenue and beach road will serve as backup to Highway 130, which may be covered by the flow. Now this is parents are concerned about what will happen to their school-aged children. The DOA complex area superintendent says if schools in the area have shut down, the contingency plan is to relo relocate children to the Kaehu complex. That depends on if residents can even continue to live in the area. People are going to lose their homes, so they're going to um, really look to see where they can live. And if they don't have places to live, then we're going to really have to relook at the homeless impact on the state of Hawaii. Big Island Civil Defense says if the flow isn't an immediate threat to any of the nearby communities, the country county has not yet ordered any evacuations. However, it's advising people living in Ka'ohe to keep listening to local radio broadcasts for updates. Your local user Big Al Island, Big Al Ellen Al, sent in this picture, and this is from late last night. The user says this is the June 27th flow yesterday, as seen from over the backyard near the 29th, and this is in Hawaiian Paradise Park. And we want to see your pictures. Send it in to us on the U Local section of KITV.com.